when Joseph Smith and his brother Hiram started for Carthage to face what they knew would be an imminent martyrdom, Hiram read these words of comfort to the heart of his brother. Thou hast been faithful, wherefore thou shalt be made strong, even unto the sitting down in the place with which I have prepared in the mansions of my father. Later, when actually incarcerated in the jail, Joseph the prophet turned to the guards who held him captive and bore a powerful testimony of the divine authenticity of the Book of Mormon. Shortly thereafter, pistol and ball would take the lives of these two testators. As one of a thousand elements of my own testimony of the divinity of the Book of Mormon, I submit this as yet one more evidence of its truthfulness. In this their greatest and last hour of need, I ask you, would these men blaspheme before God by continuing to fix their lives, their honor, and their own search for eternal salvation on a book and by implication a church and a ministry they had fictitiously created out of whole cloth. Never mind that their wives are about to be widows and their children fatherless. Never mind that their little band of followers will yet be houseless, homeless, and friendless, and that their children will leave footprints of blood across frozen rivers and an untamed prairie floor. Never mind that legions will die and other legions live, declaring in the four quarters of this earth that they know the Book of Mormon and the church which it espouses it to be true. Disregard all of that and tell me whether in this hour of death these two men would enter the presence of their eternal judge, quoting from and finding solace in a book, which if not the very word of God, would brand them as imposters and charlatans until the end of time. They would not do that. They were willing to die rather than deny the divine origin and the eternal truthfulness of the Book of Mormon. For 179 years this book has been examined and attacked, denied and deconstructed, targeted and torn apart like perhaps no other book in modern religious history, perhaps like no other book in any religious history, and still it stands. I did not sail with the brother of Jared. I did not proselyte with Alma and Amulek, nor witness the fiery death of innocent believers. I was not among the Nephite crowd who touched the wounds of the resurrected Lord, but my testimony of this record and the peace it brings to the human heart is as binding and unequivocal as was theirs. I want it absolutely clear when I stand before the judgment bar of God that I declared to the world in the most straightforward language I could summon that the Book of Mormon is true, that it came forth the way Joseph said it came forth, and was given to bring happiness and hope to the faithful in the travail of the last days. Brothers and sisters, God always provides safety for the soul. And with the Book of Mormon, he has again done that in our time. Remember this declaration by Jesus himself. Whoso treasureth up my word shall not be deceived. And in the last days, Neither your heart nor your faith will fail you.